Okay, in this lesson, uh, I want to just a uh, little complex things about fields that I want to explain valuable tag fields and Mugro object field. Uh, you can use both of them for transfer for uh, transfer um, something to, from one cloner to another cloner. So it means you can control one cloner, the target cloner <clears throat> with a uh, base cloner. For, uh, okay, this is called target cloner. This is a target. And we create another cloner with another cube, call it uh, base cloner. We want to change some settings here and then transfer the data from one cloner to another cloner with the variable tag and the <clears throat> move of object tag. Uh, we clone it in a cloner, we call it base cloner, okay? And this is in this base cloner, we go to the object, make it a linear. Yeah, in not this angle, make it this angle. Yeah, that's nice. Make some object and that's it. This is our cloner. Uh, for this cloner, if you want to give it the data, you need a effector plane and call it base plane that we can, we can store the parameter and the field here. The parameter is okay. It's a y axis. Uh, we use a step. We use a step for that. And as we can see, we have a step. Uh, okay, in a parameter, in a in a base object, in a cloner, in a transfer, we have a white. We bring it from to the to the base. We are going to effector, and here choose a custom, and make it for example. Okay, in a step, when you select a step, here you can change the parameter. Okay, so we have an step. If you go to base plane here in a vector, in a parameter, we have something before called weight transfer. If you go to the base in a display, in a transfer, in a display, you can uh, activate the weight and as you can see the weight is all red and uh, in a weight map that you learned before the red is means zero so we have nothing about the weight of this so if you go to the base and in a parameter of that you have to make the weight door it means you open the weight you open the weight and this the uh, now, if you open the door of the weight, the weight will be calculated with a step. And as you can see, we have from red step effector to the yellow. Yellow means one, 100%, and this is zero. So we have an, of course, weight. So with changing the weight, we can do a lots of interesting effects. So we have three uh, parameter here, changing the weight, changing the step with a parameter of y-axis and changing the color we want to transfer these three parameters to another cloner that is our target for transfer and if you rotate it and control it you can control this plane it's very interesting effect that you can do it this is a target for transfer the the parameter from the plane to another cloner. So of course you have to create another clone effector for this target, and we call it target. And as you can see, if you go to the target and effector, the target plane is in it. So in a target, go into the field, and this is a uh, first lesson. If you go to the step, you have to, uh, for connecting this cloner to the that cloner, we need MuGraph object. Okay, the MuGraph object is the 
first Mugurov object, this is our Mugurov object. If you go to the Mugurov, all of the cloner metrics, all of these are Mugurov object, okay? The first and important Mugurov object is a cloner. So we need a base cloner because this is a, this is a, the plane of the target. We need to click and dra drop and dra drag and drop this base to the uh, field of target cloner and click and drag it. And the cinema for details us uh, you want to import uh, which sitting here. Just we want to move of object. An interesting part happened. As you can see, all of the data will be transferred here. The color, the step. And for the weight, you have to go to the target. And in the transfer in this way, you can change the weight. As you can see, the weight does not transfer because you have to open the door of that going to the plane effector of that cloner and in the parameter you have to open the door of the weight in the effector and as you can see the weight will be transferred here the interesting part it is if you select the base <clears throat> and change it and as you can see you can change it you can rotate it interesting effect you can create with that see that so this is a controller for another uh, effector nice so uh, let's create another option let's go to the target and this is our Mugurov. And here, if you select the Mugurov object, here we have control the Mugurov object here. From here, it's not important. Transfer the color effector remapping. You know it. It's a clip. But uh, the, inter the important sitting here is a mode. It's the nearest. It means, if for, for example, uh, it's calculate the nearest for example from here nearest part to that nearest part to that because of this mode we have exactly the pattern of this to this uh, if you selected the index it's it is uh it's create index of that as you can see uh it's uh, if you going to the base cloner in a display you can activate the index and as you can see we have zero to seven and it's exactly uh, create this uh, effects you can go into the base effector here and in the parameter turn off the position um, because of the step, it's going there. It's not important. Yeah, it's not important. If you go to the target and in the display, index it. And as you can see, we have lots of index there. And it is one by one from one to seven index this parameter to seven of each this cloner. And it's repeated and repeated. Okay, this is an index mode. Okay, we turn it to the none, we have a base, we are going to the none to clean it. So in the target, we have a Mugurov object here. This is an index. <clears throat> the interesting part here is an average. As we can see, we have a radius here now that it means, uh, for example, this clone here or this clone here it has a radius this is exactly this radius and reach the this part of the if the as you can see we, this radius is very small or our best target our best base cloner is far from our object and as you can see if we uh, make it nearest the radius is capture this and you can see effect that so we can go back to the target and double this radius if you want oh it's very big you can double it and then as you can see you can control it here it's very interesting so you can control this with this this is an average 
instead of you can maximum or minimum that that we have to this is an average it means it's it has a radius that for example uh, from this why this object does not change because it has a radius of 200 centimeter and does not reach the base colonna so it take no effect here so this isn't just radius in a layer it's very important here okay so let's uh, create another <clears throat> create another setup for variable tag uh, from variable tag for example we have a plane here that we can transfer the vertex map of this to that for uh, for transfer the tag you have to use a variable from so in a target we need a planar vector and uh, call it target in a target uh, we have an we have to click and drag a tag that we created here so make it editable and we want to create a simple weight map here okay you can go into the tool and paint tool in a paint tool change it to the vertex map i explained them before you can weighting any map here anything that you want for example this weight and as you can see this is our tag here and we want to transfer it to the target okay the we can turn it off to don't see that and if you go to the target uh, in a factor is okay it's a target in a field you can click and drag this vertex map directly to the uh, fields of here and as you can see it's automatically transfer that vertex map to our uh, target cloner and that's it you can instead of that you can uh, delete that for instance and make an animation tag here or you can um, assign directly a random and noise animation just so i want to tell you this is a variable if you go to the target as you can see i just recommend the variable tag the variable uh, variable tag is a, a vertex map for transfer the tag of any vertex map that you created directly on a cloner that you can control that vertex map then directly take effect this cloner that's variable tag so in this lesson i explained mugraph tag and the variable tag of field here uh, oh sorry i just uh, forget to tell you what happened here uh, if you go to the this plane and as you can see this is an tag the uh, yellow part it means 100% of that parameter is take to that cloner and the red part it means zero which parameter it means if you go to the target uh, position boy or you can um, change scale to better understand it as you can see exactly this vertex map mapped and transferred to the this and the yellow part it means they get they uh, gets 100 percent of that and the color between them as you can see it's like a gradient between them for example 50 40 percent of that parameter that is uh, scale so we can do it like this you can paint a map and do it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release